What is church transformation? Now, do you remember that question? That is the question that we're asking our UC uh, leaders this year through our head, heart, and hands training. And that was the, the, the big question that we answered uh, in April. Well, we said that it was helping Christ followers to become like Jesus, not only in character, but how we live our lives, to live as uh, Jesus, to walk as Jesus walk. We also said this is an ever-going process, you know, ongoing process. It's a life-on-life -life process. It's an all-of-life process, which really transforms what? Our head, our thinking, our hearts, our will, and our hands uh, to the work of God. So it's about character, it's about affections, it's about abilities, and it's about our thinking. I want to thank you all, uh, leaders and members, for your participation in our annual meeting. We had been praying about that for unity, uh, a consensus through the Holy Spirit. And I really uh, sense that, uh, that togetherness. Uh, making history. This will be 138 years of Union Church, and we're in an exciting time as we're being transformed. Our church is being transformed by Christ. We have seen in our Romans Bible study that a mature church produces what? Disciple makers, disciples of Jesus, Christ followers who make other disciples, who are able by the word to exhort, admonish, uh, correct, rebuke, encourage. Yesterday was an exciting day. I spent the day with Sam and my REACH Global Supervisor, uh, Dave, in Niteroy with Pastor Cristiano, whose uh, uh, office is next to ours here. He's the pastor of Head and Door, and also uh, the president of Acts 29. We sponsored several pastors, local pastors, our partners, to attend the Acts 29 conference in uh, Niteroi. Carlinho was there with his wife, Eleni. Fabiano from uh, Cume de Monch. Pastor Fabio and his staff, uh, among others. And it was really a great day uh, together. You know, 2 Timothy 2, verse 2 says this, and the things you have heard me say, this is Paul talking to his disciple Timothy, and in the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, entrust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. And then he keeps going on in uh, 15 to say, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved a worker who does not have to be ashamed, who correctly handles the word of truth. Again, we see Paul's discipleship transformation, encouraging young Timothy to build up the church in head, heart, and hands. You know, at the conference, Acts 29, we even ran into Pastor Jay. And um, uh, people always ask, oh, is Pastor Jay, we saw him on the internet, you know, is he going to be coming to Union Church? Just so you know, Jay is not here during a, sat a Sunday, okay? He was just here for the conference. And also, uh, we, the UC Board, has uh, issued an invitation to for 2J to come and preach at Union Church next time he is here on a Sunday. And that's our expectation. He'll be here in June, and we hope that he'll come and preach. Uh, we've extended that invitation, and we're waiting to hear back from him. I also got to see my old friend, Pastor Enhiki. Enhiki is the senior pastor at the Igreja Oceanica Presbyteriana, the Presbyterian Church there in Niteroi, that hosted uh, the conference. And here we are looking at this picture back in 2006. I first went to that church representing our local surf club in Hikreu. And in Hiki, he uh, received our adolescence and uh, his, the men of his church, they took us surfing in Sequarema. There was a big meeting of surf ministries, about 250 uh, surfers uh, together. It was amazing to uh, see in Hiki again 
Uh, then it was surfing, now it is uh, Acts 29 and developing our pastors in the Word. Christina Mello was also there representing Revive Our Hearts. So we had quite the Union Church representation there at Acts 29. You know, our strategy is to recalibrate our minds, what? To the Word of God, to embrace with our hearts uh, the will of God, so that our hands might join in the work of God, building up His church, uh, displaying His glory. That's His plan A, and that's what Acts 29 always reminds the pastors and the church leaders that participate in uh, the training. Now, to do that as well here, uh, I'm inviting uh, our UC couples to our couples Bible study that will meet uh, this Saturday, May 25th. And then the men of the church will have our second men's breakfast on June 8th. That's a couple weekends away. But again, we're going to have our men's breakfast Bible study, but in we will be meeting with the CMK kids from Mohudabanku, uh, Kume de Monch Church. Uh, last time we were planting trees with Ray. This time we're going to be, we have wood, wood building kits, and we're going to be building uh, planes and boats and cars out of wood with the boys. And so it's going to be an amazing time for the men to come, not only be in the Word, but also spend some time with the children from uh, Mohudabanku. I'd also like to invite you to join us uh, Sunday morning, every Sunday morning, but particularly this Sunday morning uh, at 10 a.m. for our UC worship service. Stay well, friends. Stay connected to the vine and stay connected to one another in this change and ever-changing world. Mm -hmm.